the complete working of it why there is a capacitor over there so what is the role of a capacitor what are the winding sources as well so please be preferred for it leave this in your mind engrave this in your mind because these questions sometimes they ask and on board also uh you it will be it will be very very easy for you to guys all right guys welcome back to my channel uh yes from the title of the video and uh, from the place that i am i know it's a bit confusing but uh, yeah so today's topic is about eto's interview questions so i'm just sharing my experience what i faced when i was going through the institutes in the first part i'll tell you about the interview questions that i had faced when i was going to apply for the institute so if you guys know if you guys don't know i studied in great eastern institute of marine time studies so i did my eto course there so i completed my four months eto course there and uh, yeah so according to the interview questions that i faced i will be sharing my insights my inputs and my experience so yep let's get to it and i hope you guys uh, you know uh, i know it's bit you know weird you know sitting in my room and you know, explaining uh, some people like that some people don't i just thought that i'll do a part of this video like a motto dog because predominantly i started off uh, this channel so that i could motor vlog so before merchant navy and all these videos uh, i was into a lot of you know uh, touring on my bike so yeah i thought i'll do this like a motor vlog if you do guys like it please let me know in the comment section and yeah let's just get to it then let's start so basically the eto interview questions will come for you from your four year engineering so you have to be an electrical or electronics or electrical and electrical electronics and communication or electronics and instrument instrumentation engineer to apply for this course before there was a scope for or a diploma students to come as an eto but i think right now it is not there i think most of the shipping companies are preferring an engineer to be as an electrical officer electro technical officer so if i am wrong please forgive me this is the information that i know and this is what i am sharing with you guys so yeah um so basically your four years engineering in a, a tiny uh, 15 20 minutes interview section they ask so basically for great eastern institute of marine time studies there are three rounds of interviews so the first round is yeah so the first round is the online cbt test so the cbt test consists of all the electrical electronics uh, you know uh, the um, questions related to your engineering terms like uh, uh, questions related to your ohms law question related to your uh, voltage current uh, your uh, what is that the power distribution uh, your uh, uh, what is that the transformers so it is really hard to tell one one by one questions so it usually you can select from one of those options so it's like you know there's the question there be four options you have to select the right option so there is around uh, what is that uh, 50 to 80 questions i believe so 50 to 80 questions you have to answer in around 1 hour so this test for me was done at my home because when i joined the, the institute when i was getting ready to join the institute uh, it was uh, um, it was a time of uh, corona virus that is covid 19 so everything was done online so yeah this was a cbt test so just after you complete the cbt test there will be another link that will be shared to you so this link is for the psychometric test so psychometric test is something that you guys have to answer there will be 100 questions this um, what is that uh, psychometric uh, thing that you give will basically evaluate that how you will uh, you know uh, take care of uh, uh, what is a particular uh, incidents or uh, parameters on board it might be your personal thing it, it all depends on how you think and how you assess the situation so questions like uh, if your chief engineer is adamant person and he is you know telling you to do a certain thing which you don't want to do how will you you know act how will you handle that situation so i just give an example i don't think that this is the question that lalas i just give an example of what questions will come in a psychometric uh, exam so psychometric exam there will be 100 questions so you have to pass in uh, that as well 
so yeah so these are the two tests that you will be taking up at your home i believe uh, right now uh, because of uh, all there is no covid 19 things uh, i think a few of these tests as is done in the institute but i think predominantly cbt test and the psychometric test is done at your home so yeah so these two tests you have to prepare these two tests there is no questions for me to tell you because it can come from anywhere anyhow so if you are good with your engineering skills and your basic electrical and electronic skills uh, i think you can clear this test i think the passing mark is 50 percent so uh, there is no what is that minus marking in this uh, uh, exams so you can answer if you don't know so you can take an option like you can take a what is that you do wild guess and you can answer the thing so psychometric test is also 50 or i don't know psychometric what is the passing mark uh, but psychometric really easy i think everyone is gonna clear that so these are the two tests that will come to you uh, when you apply for great eastern institute of marine time studies so followed by this test one second guys yeah so false neutral shit okay let's go yeah so followed by this test if you guys are selected if you guys are shortlisted uh, in this test uh, you will get a link to your mail so this link will tell you you will you are selected for the personal interview so since i told you before i did my course when a time of covid uh, 19 so my test was online but right now i'm 100 percent sure i'm not across that i'm 200 percent sure that right now the face-to-face -face interview is happening in the institute as is institute only so you have to go to great east institute of marine time studies so your interview will happen over there so i'll just tell you what happened in my interview to the time the date and the uh, link to the zoom call or the zoom teams google meet whatever it is uh, you will get the link in your mail so you have to you know uh, prepare so prior preparing uh, so prior uh, going to the call you have to prepare very well because there will be three people that is going to take your interview yes one chief engineer one guy from the company that is from the great eastern shipping company uh, he is like the technical superintendent and one is an electrical officer electro technical officer that is teaching in the institute when i sat for my interview it was a google meet call so i just sat in the interview so firstly first thing that you have to first question that was fired to me was tell me about yourself introduce you about yourself and tell about your history so this is basically your name where do you come from what is education experience and if you are working prior somewhere because uh, i personally was working somewhere else before i joined merchant navy so you have to talk about that experience as well so this was asked for me by the chief engineer so yeah these are the in, uh, introduction questions that they asked me technical questions first things first guys they asked me do you know what is a multimeter so multimeter is the main basic instrument that you guys have to know how to use it so multimeter you can measure voltage you can measure current so first question was asked me by the chief engineer was how do you measure 220 volt in a multimeter which instrument do you use to measure voltage so i said sir we use the multimeter so he said can i measure 220 volt 220 volt is very high right so can i measure 220 volts using a multimeter i said yes you can measure 220 volts so how do you measure so i told i'll put the knob to the voltage firstly i'll check the probes the one uh, black probe has to be in the common the secondary probe has to be in the voltage section or the ohm section uh, and i'll measure it in parallel so he was like okay so what what if it's 440 volt i said sir 440 volt is also same if the multimeter is in the what is the range feature does if the multimeter has an auto range feature then i will uh, just keep the multimeter in parallel and i'll using the probes i will check parallelly and check if the voltage is 440 if it is not an auto range i will select the range according to the knob and then i will um, measure the voltage parallelly so he was like okay so he asked second question was what is active power reactive power apparent power what is power factor so you have to know the basic definition of all this i don't want to bore you guys with definition <laughs> so yeah this was second question asked to me thirdly was he asked me do you know what is a transformer what is use of a transformer so i yes 
so the fourth question was the third or the fourth question was okay yeah, he asked me what is a transformer where do you use the transformer what is the purpose for transformer what are the losses do you know there is losses in a transformer what are the losses in the transformer explain those losses what is do you know then he has what is a electric motor so he has me definition of electric motor it is what converts a electric energy into a mechanical energy was my answer then he has how do you start a motor what are different types of starters in a motor so starters in the motor also he has so what are the types of starter he has so there are dol star delta auto transformer and soft starter so he asked me to explain what is the dol starter why why we use dual starter why we use star delta starter but he didn't go pretty much deep into auto transformer or soft starter then later on he came to batteries so he asked me what type of a battery what what are the types of battery that you know the lead acid battery what is the difference between a lead acid battery and a nickel cadmium battery so he asked me how do you what are the maintenance that you do on a battery so yeah these are the questions that was asked lot more of you uh, i know are speaking your own regional language that is hindi but in the interview please 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 make sure that you guys are talking in english and the way you communicate the way you talk is a plus added bonus to you guys because the field that you are going to get into merchant navy so the field that you are going to get to that is merchant navy you will be with a lot of multinational crew might be your chief engineer might be from usa might be from china might be a filipino so communication is a very 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 important point in this uh, in this uh, field so your english has to be very good so even if you are not that technically strong i am not i am telling it from my own experience even if you are not that technically strong if they think that they can train you to become technically strong but your communication is very good then i think that they will select you your chance of selection is very very high so please 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 if you are going for an interview uh, i'm not telling uh, with respect to great eastern i'm telling with respect to any institute that you go for anglo tolani samundra whatever institute that you are going please 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 work on your english your english has to be very good please practice your english practice 100 times talk to your friends talk with your friends in english talk to everyone in english make your english very good very nice so that your chances of selection is very high after the battery question uh, he just asked me one question that was uh, just tell me one thing tells me that i will select you so this question is about how you are going to you know put yourself in the position and to tell them that yes you are going to give them something that you are giving that you are a very good person you are a asset to the company you are a good technically you are strong you are a fast learner all these points can be used so you have to you know talk about that for like one one and a half minute and after that he said okay thank you you may please leave the call so these questions were asked to me in a time frame of around 15 20 minutes so my interview took place around 15 20 minutes which was held online because of covid 19 but right now you guys are going to if you guys are applying you guys are going to go to the institute great eastern institute and you are going to sit there and give an interview so if you are going there i know if you are live face to face you guys will get anxious you guys will get scared nervous whatever it is but you can't help it you have to go if you want to come into this field you have to go through all this so yeah so this was pretty much the interview that they took for me so after this i waited for around 2 weeks 2 and a half weeks 3 weeks then i got a made for my medical fitness so uh, since it was online for me i had to wait for 2 weeks because there was a lot of applicants at my batch i was around uh, there was around what is a 400 500 people that have applied and only 40 people got selected so yeah they took around 2 weeks for the um, for you know tallying all the scores and results and to select these 40 people so yeah um, after 2 weeks i got my uh, mail for my physical exams so for me the physical exam was to go and 
the do your physical exam with an approved dg doctor so this approved dg doctor if you go to the dg shipping site you will get to know the list of dg doctor that are approved in your state or your place so for me in bangalore i stay in bangalore for me in bangalore there was only one doctor that is approved by dg so i went 20 25 kilometers to meet the doctor to get my physical exams done after getting my physical exam done i scanned the physical report and i sent it to the and i sent it to the institute so after this um, i so yeah so this was done for me in because the exam took place in online but you guys are going to go to the institute lucky lucky people so for you guys i think physical exam will happen somewhere over there because right after you come out of the interview you will get to know if you are selected or not because right over there because i had a junior of mine tell me that right after you come out of the room you will get to know that if you are selected or not if you are selected from there they will direct you they will guide you where to go and get your medical exams done so for me medical exam costed me around 4000 rupees which is non refundable which you have to put it from your own pocket yeah it sucks right yeah initial uh, investments has to be there guys because this field is a very lucrative field wherein you have to spend a lot of money to gain a lot of money yeah so 4000 rupees i paid for my medical exams so yeah i got that done then i scanned it and sent it to them then after that i got a mail saying that you have been officially selected for the uh, batch of ato so and so welcome to great eastern institute of marine time studies your uh, f- uh, course will start on this date your classes start on that date since i joined the time of covid uh, ato course is 4 months so 2 months was online two months they called it for practicals to do it offline so two months class was online it was completely held in gulmeet so yeah one good thing one great thing one extra superb thing that i want to tell about institutes like great eastern is that you will get a sponsorship letter sponsorship letter will be given to you at the time of joining so if you guys are you guys are very lucky people so you for you guys there's no online shit and all there is no online thing for you guys so when you guys go to the institute you will get your sponsorship letter or you guys might get it in the mail i don't know and uh, yeah this sponsorship letter is very 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 important because institutes like great eastern anglo sims i guess i don't know uh, i'll just talk about the institute that i know because i did my course here so institute like great eastern gives you a sponsorship letter so air respective of what happens once you're in you have a job guaranteed so irrespective you get selected in a college placements in the institute placements or if you don't you will have a job so job guarantee is 100% because of this 100% thing they have a very strict interview process they want the best people to join their college they want the best officers to be on ship so that is why the entrance exam the cbt exams whatever it is it is very very tough so yeah that is one thing so i have seen a lot of seafarers for me right now i get a lot of dms in instagram and linkedin what not i get dms from a lot of aspiring merchant navy officers asking me for sir is there any openings in your in your company is there any jobs in your company is there any openings please refer me here please refer me there please sir i am at home for 2 years i am at home for 3 years i am at home for 5 years i am not getting any job so to avoid all these things please go to a reputed college who is giving you a sponsorship letter and right now i have heard that many companies like ask msc is doing partnership with a lot of institutes so if these companies are giving you sponsorship please take it go to those interviews don't just blindly go to some random institute and then ruin your life because fees is very very high in this field in great eastern i paid around 4 lakh 15000 rupees for a 4 month course that comes to 1 lakh a month so it is not easy money guys money is very hard to earn so yeah please take a sponsorship please go to a very good college if not please don't come into this field because job to get a job is very 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 difficult and it is very very bad the situation right now the market right now is very very bad so please 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 take it from a person who has been sailing 
I have seen a lot of people so please take a sponsorship from a company and then you guys can come so this was my experience in the interview process for the Great Eastern Institute but the video is not over yet because I have made a list of questions that were asked to my friends and also some basic questions that you have to know that will help you for your CPT test and also for your face to face interview so for that I'll have to head back home because I'm riding bike right now and I don't have my book I've written all the questions in my book so let me just head home and I'll tell you guys the questions so please keep a pen and a paper ready or you I don't know uh, make a note on your phone or something so these things will come in handy when you guys are preparing for the entrance exam so yeah let me just get back home and I'll tell you the other questions so which was asked to my friends and also a few questions that was that is really, really important for you guys to know yeah so let me just head back home Hi. Hi hi. Hi. Hi hi. Alrighty guys, so we're back home. So I have my uh, book over here with all your questions. Uh, questions asked to my friends. Questions asked to, you know, uh, generally these questions you guys have to know. Uh, uh, and the answers you have to know uh, because it will be helpful for you in the interview as well as in the course and also on board it will be helpful so I'm just gonna read out questions if you guys uh, want you guys make a note on your book or you know uh, take a you know type it down in your notes of your uh, phone or something so yeah let's get on so first question I want to tell is uh, working of a fan so the fan that you guys uh, have in your home, you have to know the complete working of it. Why there is a capacitor over there. So what is the role of a capacitor? What are the windings over there? So fan concept, you have to be very, very clear. So fan concept, please study fan concept properly, guys. Second is the tube light. So the tube light that you guys use right now, everyone use LED. And few ships uh, that I did right now uh, all have LED. But also fan, the concept of fan, concept of uh, what is the role of a choke, what is the role of a capacitor. Please be familiar with the circuit diagram of the fan and all those things. Third one is the multimeter guys. Multimeter, please be very, 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 very sure about how to use the multimeter. What kind of voltage is, how do you measure current, what is the voltage. Just giving you a simple thing, voltage is measured in parallel, current is measured in series. Uh, engrave this in your mind, engrave this in your mind because these questions sometimes they ask and on board also. Uh, you'll, it'll, be, it'll be very, very easy for you to do guys. So next one, refrigeration cycle. So how does the refrigeration work? What are the cycles of refrigeration? AC, AC cycle. Refrigeration, AC cycle, somewhat same. Few things change here and there, but it's always same. So refrigeration, AC, please be completely clear. Motors, what are different types of motor? What is synchronous motor? What is asynchronous motor? Um, so please be very, very sure of this. Next one is, uh, third one is, okay, what are the types of engines? Two-stroke engine, four-stroke engine, Please be really sure about uh, the working of this, that is the suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, exhaust stroke. Please be very, very familiar with this and know the working of this because we are in a field wherein we we are electrical officers, we are electrotechnical officers, but concepts of mechanical has to be clear for you to go and troubleshoot and work on the electrical side as well. So they do ask some, uh, you know, uh, kind of mechanical questions as well. So please be preferred for it. So yeah, motors I already told you, uh, later we have, uh, okay, next one. Okay, yeah, the next one is, uh, how is the work of insulation meter? That is called as a megger. So megger working, how do you check the insulation resistance of a motor, of a wire? Uh, just YouTube it and uh, I think you will find it. I don't have a, a insulation meter at home <laughs> because it's, it's no use. Because yeah, so I don't have insulation meter at home. So I would have showed you guys how to use it. But yeah, uh, just Google it, just YouTube it, you'll find it. So insulation meter, the working, the construction of insulation meter, and also how do you in, uh, test insulation resistance of a motor, of a wire, please be sure of it. Next is the working of a transformer. 
what is a step up transfer what is a step down transfer what is a current transfer what is a potential transformer so different type of transformer the losses in transformer what is copper loss what is, what is hysteresis loss get to know that properly guys what so uh, next one is ct pt current transformer potential transformer that is you have to know next is uh, coming to electronics uh, g- uh get to know the working of an npn transistor pnp transistor what is a diode what is a zener diode what is avalanche breakdown so you people who have done electrons and communication will know about these things but people who have done electrical also please just google these things and be familiar with it uh after that uh, uh yeah uh, you have to know what is plc plc is programmable logic controller so just get to know the basics of plc and scada so scada s c a d a scada plc and scada if you are hearing this term for the first time uh, i'm really sorry but please google it learn about it just for your information starters so get to know about all the motor starters dual star delta auto transformer soft starter and also vfd guys variable frequency drive please um, learn about that as well next question is uh, what is the power factor what is different between line voltage phase voltage different types of circuit breakers uh then how can the direction of a rotation of an induction motor can be reversed so if it's turning in the clockwise direction how can it reverse in the anti clockwise direction so i'll know that uh then what is stroboscopic effect stroboscopic effect so please google about this if you guys don't know what is stroboscopic effect uh this is pretty much uh, uh used on board ship you will get to know i don't want to tell you so get to know what is stroboscopic effect and how do you avoid the um, this effect so what are the causes for this effect how do you avoid this effect please make a note of it next what is difference between actuator and valve what difference between an actuator and a valve third one is diode as i told diode so this uh, work what are the different types of sensors then what is difference between microprocessor and microcontroller next igbt internal gate bipolar junction transistor what are practical applications of it third difference between fet and bjt next what is differential layer what is triac and diac so these are all the electronics questions that you guys have to know and one thing is get to know the basics of the radar guys so a radar basic just get to the basic of i don't want you to guys to go deep down into it and learn the working of a magnetron and all those things no just get to know a basic definition of a radar how it works how an electrical signal converts into a wave guide so what does radar do just get to know basics of it so i don't think they'll ask but it is a very good knowledge for you guys to no no this uh, i think you guys can uh, crack the interview uh, yeah um and always guys uh, be very very confident in whatever you are answering because the the chief engineers and electrical officer try to you know, confuse your own understanding so if you are sure about one thing stick on to that because they are uh, ma- what is that reacting in a different way like you don't know anything please don't get uh, demotivated and change your answers please stick on to your answers be confident prepare well all the best i hope you guys all go on board i hope you guys meet you in the future and uh, yeah um, that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys like this video i took a lot of hard work in you know jotting down so much of uh, you know questions for you guys to understand so my pretty much my basic uh, thought is that i have struggled a lot to come into this field i have struggled you know i going through a lot of various other materials to get all these questions i just want you guys to come see my channel get the information that you guys want and i just want you to get to use it in a very nice way i think i am doing that so thank you so much guys for watching my video as always stay happy stay safe keep traveling i'll see you in another video bye bye guys bye bye